So we're going to be looking next at a Romanian deadlift. Now, the main difference between this one and a conventional deadlift is going to be you're not going to be touching the floor. So that, and that's going to keep some tension on your hamstrings and glutes throughout the movement. So we'll have Hunter step on out. So yeah, about shoulder width between the feet. And your hands are going to be kind of right outside shoulder width. And see how he's got a nice, slow stretch on that eccentric. Again, he's not touching the ground with, with the plates of the barbell. He's keeping his chest up, butt out, nice straight back, strong, sturdy core. And you want to make sure you have a nice breath of air inside of your core um, at the top or as you're bringing the weight up, and then you can let that out on the way down. And then again, take another breath in on the way up to help brace that core. Yeah, I like to uh, always, on these ones, I always like to have my hands out wide enough so that it never really touches my knee. Because for me, I'm like driving this up my shins and my knee. So if I'm here, then my fingertips are touching and it makes me want to roll out. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So uh, that's a big thing that I do differently with the RDO. And uh, from the top, I always like take a big breath in, shoulder blades back and down. And then I think about tilting the hips up, almost like I'm trying to touch my butt to the ceiling as I'm driving them back. And I just descend, 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 until I feel like I can't go anymore. So you can kind of see actually, if I go into this position, I got a big load or a big stretch in my hamstrings. If I go any further, my low back kind of rounds out there. Yep. So I go right before that low back roundage, which is right about there. So. I mean, Very good, yeah. 